Sup dude and dudes, this is Froggy2k9 and this here is my first Moab. Now the Moab to me is one of the hardest things to get in my opinion. Now I'm not the greatest player in the world, I never have said I am, I will never say I am. But I can pull off a high kill streak when I feel like it. When I'm actually in the zone I can pull off a high kill streak. And this is one of those games which proves that I can pull it off if I'm concentrating and if I'm just remaining calm. This I was entirely calm during this entire match. I had just gone off a few matches where I had some fun. I was I was hunting nuke boosters in this game as well as last game and the game before that. That's why I was having fun. I kept killing them and killing them and killing them. They sent me messages complaining that I was killing them and why, why do I do that? I have no life. Yeah. You're the one sitting in a video game Killing your friend over and over again in a corner without any troubles or without anybody trying to fight back over and over again for no apparent reason whatsoever because headshots don't count in this. You're boosting for mobs, are you? Well, see if you can get 25 kills in a row without somebody spotting you in a team deathmatch. Yeah, see if you can get 25 kills on the same person in a row. In a corner, there they are, right there. Just check their names, and you guys go check them out. Check their names, get on and report them for boosting. If you do that, please, I'd be very. I don't know what the word is. Boosters just really tick me off. They really do. Boosters are so irritating. The entire game is like. I loved COD 4 and the cage match idea because the boosters would go into the cage matches and they would stay there boosters wouldn't file out into all the online games you know you wouldn't get domination with two people out of the game because boosters are not in the game they're not they're not part of the game they're not part of the win at all they're always they're always part of the loss so if you get a loss and you got boosters on your team that's it you can instantly blame it on them because it is their fault in boosting is all your fault you make your team lose if your team wins it's not none of your you know it is it's not your win you didn't earn the win when you won the when your team won the game your team earns the win so you you have nothing to show for it boosting there is nothing to show for it especially in this game when there's no headshot boost it, well headshot boosting is pretty much useless because headshot boosting in COD 4 was for the gold camo now I don't really blame some people because they know they can't get those type of headshots but really it's just about playing time I mean you can play a lot of time and you'll end up getting near headshots just randomly I, I get loads of headshots because <laughs> it's just random you know, so I don't go for headshots so when I get them I get them that's why it took me so long to get gold camo in COD 4 the first time around, you know, I, I, since I've changed accounts, I have lost everything, so I'm back to really low levels on almost everything. But, uh, but I believe that was one of the boosters, and he decided, you know what, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hide around here, put the tactical insertion down, and, you know, try and knife the person as I spawn, what an idiot! But he contributed to my Moab, so thank you very much. Now, I'm gonna my breakdown series will be definitely continuing, where I just break down my own gameplay, go over my own gameplay a bit, and maybe a few of these nuke or Moab sessions, I will go ahead and do a breakdown of these to show you how I how I got it, what contributed to it. And what factors you should consider when you're going for your own. Now I wasn't actually going for a Moab this game. I I got to about In fact I think I think I got to about this point in the game and I realized, you know what, I could possibly get a Moab. So I'm I'm gonna play a little bit smarter now. And as you can see I pull, I pull up around, I go I go another direction, I don't actually go the normal way. I think it's actually uh, this point right here is where I realize I have a possibility of getting it which is why I'm waiting on people here and I knew that sniper wasn't looking at me so it was free reign for that free reign for the dog tags and yeah here's where I freak out a bit I was thinking oh I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm so gonna die oh god I'm so gonna die and Mamoab 
I can't pull that off, can I? No. That was awful. I won't do that again. <laughs> anyway, there's a Moab. There is your... There is your... I don't know. To be honest with you, the Moab doesn't look like a normal bomb. It looks more like... Um, a bumblebee? As, as well, one way I put it. It looks like a bumblebee there. It doesn't look like a normal bomb. I mean, a normal bomb, you know. You know what it looks like. It just hasn't got the right shape, you know. It just hasn't got the right shape. You need the right shape to be a bomb. And right here, I again get shown that I'm still human, and I can still die. UMP, UMP is a beast of a weapon. I'm really, really enjoying it with the silencer attachment. It's really, really great. It's got low recoil as long as you burst fire. As long as you burst fire, like right here, burst fire, boom, boom, boom. Bum 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 bum. There we go. You can't really notice it sometimes when I burst fire. It's not really noticeable in some cases. Right here, I just got oops. I got absolutely overwhelmed. I was didn't know what was happening. I heard sound of footsteps all around around me. I knew it was all the enemy, and I didn't really know what I was doing. And that it just died. I got they got the better of me by overpowering me with too many people. And it was good for them. Well done. You played it smart. You you guys decided to surround the building, and that's how you kill me. And double kill. Yeah, yeah, that's my double kill. That is. Thank you very much for giving me that double kill. And aimbot. I'm calling aimbot hacks on that. What the hell was that? Did I just do that? Did, was it was that me? Did I do that? Yes, I did. That was a brilliant play on my part. Well done. Thanks. Thanks me. <laughs> That was really great. I, I like that. I, it was like an aimbot sort of style twitch, I'd suppose. That's why I call it a twitch. But that was that was yeah. I, I really like that. That was good. Now right here, I don't know how I didn't kill this guy. I got like four or five hit markers on him. And yeah, rapid fire pistol. Haha. <laughs> So I still have my trigger finger. That's still good in this game. The trigger finger does work in this game. It is good. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good to go. So for any of those you know who, for any of those who know the trigger finger and you can trigger finger yourself, by which I mean you can rapid fire with your finger. I don't mean. And here's the boosters again. Check their names. God damn it! Get out of my lobby. Anyway. As I was saying, if you got, if you got the trigger finger, there's several guns on this game that can use the trigger finger, especially pistols. Spis yes, yeah, pistols. Pistols have pistols are great for trigger fingering. Yeah, pistols are great for trigger fingering on this game, especially that um, magnum I got here, and I believe it's a magnum. Have we got the magnum on here? Yeah, I think it's a magnum. Anyway. The Desert Eagle is also a nice one to trigger finger with. It's got a it's got a nice rate of fire with nice high damage, and if you, all you need to do is hit like two bullets and you kill the guy at close range. So right here, I'm uh, I'm on an eight kill streak again, or I think it's an eight kill streak or a seven kill streak, something like that anyway. And I'm like, maybe, possibly, maybe if another Moab. Let's let's do this thing. Let's play smart and let's see if we can make the first Moab a two Moab one gameplay. And no, it doesn't work out. It's only my first Moab. I haven't got two Moabs. I've got one Moab on the Xbox. The thing normally screws me over on the Xbox is either stupid things, the game gives them an unfair advantage. I have been taken off a 23 kill streak and a 24 kill streak about six or seven times already. Because of Dead Man's Hand is one of them, a last stand, and another big one is uh, what is it? That, that one which gives you the ability to run extreme fast. Juice, that's the one. Juiced. Juiced is a bitch. It's got me so many times now. I've been on a 23 kill streak like six or seven times, and someone's respawned with Juiced run halfway across the map and knifed me before I could have any sort of reaction whatsoever. Do you know what reaction it was? Any reaction would have been met with juiced and they would knife me and bomb that was it. Knifed that down. Down for the count. Juiced is a bitch of a perk. I really don't like it. 
You know, it's like, yeah, let's let's take painkiller already. Let's take painkiller out, okay? Painkiller out was a good idea. You know, all sorts of juggernaut and stop and power. Having that out of the game, I've got to admit, has balanced that out a bit more. They've gotten it a bit better than Modern Warfare 2, but they still put too much in the game. You know, take some stuff out, bring it back to basics, a little bit basics, you know? Anyway, this has been Froggy's UK Don. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hope you've liked this video. Bitches be here. Look at that. We're bitches. Happy days, guys.